This was my grandfather's old drafting board, and I've already drilled holes in it. What I decided to do with it was turn it into a stovetop countertop. Now, this is made of a soft wood, so I can't actually use it as a cutting board or a butcher block, but I was thinking if I got a nice piece of black slate or charcoal gray slate to put on top, you know, I could do that, and then I could cut on top of it. But I want to show you how I did this. This was already put together because it was a drafting board, but you could always buy cutting boards and glue them together. You could, uh, this is like different strips, different size pieces of wood that have been glued together with some trim down the sides. You know, super simple designs you could do. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do this. I have some extra kitchen handles left over from whenever I replace those. You're going to need a screwdriver. Of course, you'll need a drill. You'll need a tape measure because you're going to want to make sure that your holes are drilled in the right place and they're even on both sides. You're going to need a rag, some kind of an old cloth, and normally you would want to use a food grade mineral oil, but since I don't have that, I am just using some raw coconut oil that I have on hand. And we're going to go ahead and oil the board first before we do anything else because our wood is really dry and you could stain this actually. If you're making one, you could stain it. Um, I don't have any stain at the moment, so I'm just gonna use the oil to bring out the natural beauty in the wood. And I'm just gonna get some oil on here. Can you see how dry that is? The wood is really soaking that up. I'm just gonna pour a little on here. And don't worry, if you get oil on your table like I am, that is nothing that a little soap and water or a little vinegar spray won't take care of. See, the wood is really, really, really dry right now. And I may eventually stain this. Uh, but for now, I like the way it looks with the oil. So to speed up this process, I am just going to take the dry portion of my rag and go over this instead of waiting for it to completely dry. You'll want to, of course, let yours soak in, but look how nice and rich that is. So pretty. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my handles on. So I've already drilled my holes. And I've got one handle that's going to go on each side. And I mean, just something that simple completely transforms this piece. So take these off and I'm going to put my screws through the bottom. Matter of fact, let me flip this over. And I want to go ahead and get these started. And these are Phillips head screws, so I'm using a Phillips head tip. Just gently, because of course you don't want to mar your table or whatever you're doing this project on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in both sides. Oops, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna put the screws on both sides. Oh, there we go. That one wanted to pop. That's good. Maybe some more too. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, let me try to get this in. I'm going to line my handle up and 
holder it there so I can screw my screws in from the bottom side. side and then I want to show you the difference between the side that I oiled and the side that I didn't oil just so you can see the difference in the richness of the wood down you can see the bottom side a screw that doesn't want to look in too easily we want to make sure that they're pretty flush we don't want the handle popping off whenever we're handling it moving it off the stove top so this is the side that I didn't oil and then this is the side that I did it's so beautiful and it's so simple that's all there is to it you're just taking your board you're oiling it you're drilling four holes and you're putting kitchen handles cabinet handles on it and that's it